Smoking all day Night comes on I hear I am Every night it's the same And now I'm thinking that you're miles away Thunder So come back another day Everybody's calling out my name. What is bounce around inside my brain? Uh, actually, this is just an extension of what we've been doing. And we said, okay, let's we, we had some offers to do festivals, so let's just do it. But after this six shows, we want to take a break this summer. And hopefully we'll write a new record and record. Um, we, had, we had an offer for this festival, so we thought, well, we're, if we're in the north, we love the north, let's go visit so our we, friends again. So but, but that one day we, it turned into two dates, turned yeah. into three, turned into yeah. four, turned into five. And then finally, know, goes, oh, now there's a six one. Well, we'll six days in a row, like, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncing off these prison walls, lights in vain. Believe it or not, Spain was the best from even the first Cynics Rock and Roll tour. Mm -hmm. That was. You can tell, you know, it's just wild, and I'm like, I, I really, this is really what it's supposed to be like. And it was, it's not even that wild in America anymore. It used to be the 60s and 70s. Place to hide. I mean, it was like that, even like Muddy Waters, Bo Diddley, the real mm -hmm. rock and roll artifacts. Um, but it's all marketing, fashion, and that type of thing, you know, in America. and. I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's some good rock bands coming out, but in the mainstream, it's really boring. It's easier here to become accessible to the people. In America, it's very hard for a mid-level band or a low-level band to get exposure to people because the huge companies block you out. They That's block, where the, the agents are waiting at the fence. Get anywhere. Like you in can't Europe, the borders, you can get it's like to the, the music people. Borders. The agents are at the fence. You know what, Every we had to tough it out, we have to promote the records. Uh, last year was tough all across the world, I think, economically, and it hurt, you could see it, it wasn't, you know, you start going through things like, am I too old, you know, we're too old, and boy, did we lose our fan base, blah, 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 and it's really not true. The economy was horrible, and people weren't going out. But uh, I did notice the last uh, five or six months just playing, and I'm getting a, as a distributor, a label, you're starting to see things pick up again. And it was really at its last breath, I thought, uh, of failure. And it, it's starting to come around again. So, um, you know, there's a lot of 20 year old kids that are playing garage music, even younger, and it's, it, it's enlightening. So. Yeah, I think uh, I understand your question, and what I would have to say is that I think it's actually more fun in Europe because it is a smaller business. It's not a big business, and mm -hmm. you can just do it with uh, friends, and you can and you can make enough money to survive yeah. and have mm -hmm. a great time on the road. And I think the main difference is that in, in, in the United States there's no like, middle, middle class. Like we know that. I know that. I know. I know. It's like you're like a real high or you're like low, not professional, you can get yeah. good conditions to play. I would say every decade had a good three years somewhere. You know, the 50s was like 50s, it was 48 to 50, 57 to 60, 64 to 66, 
76 to 78, roughly. The 80s were the garage. Mm -hmm. punk rock. Open our eyes. See what we're missing. And it was, if you think about it, each generation, it was punk. I mean, you know, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, Bo Diddley, Chuck Berry, that was all punk. And Little Richard, that was totally crazy. And what they had to go through, too. Mm -hmm. Their travels were a lot harder than our travel. They made it easier for every generation. It was probably each generation kicking the previous one in the ass, so I get the fuck out of the way, you know. We're <laughs> fucking old, and we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we fight for our kids. I'm serious. That's what motivates my fucking ass. <laughs> I'm sorry to get out of the mood, but that's why we're still here. <laughs> But there's only a few of us left from our generation, I'm sorry. And they're fucking pretty lame, but I, it's like we're not backing down on that shit. I have fun. No, I think it did the exact opposite. It saved the music industry. I don't know. I think it did. Really. I know it killed physical. It saved us. It, it killed <laughs> physical. It changed it. Yeah. Absolutely. It definitely rearranged uh, the atoms. It's. I'm in the I think starting with, uh, starting with MySpace so, and the cynics getting on the internet gave us a whole new uh, whole new piece on It's good. It's good for promotion, marketing, if people are actually paying attention on the other end. Mm -hmm. We don't know that. I think it's already... Before that, we were trying to send out postcards to people yeah. to tell them when we were playing. Stamp, putting stamps on postcards, taking them to the post office, tell them, oh, we want to do a European I'll tour or something. Do uh, I will yeah, do the social. Ahead. Social, physical, network. you got to do all of this. With the label and stuff, it's pretty bad. And we got uh, royalty statements from Spotify. There's 20,000 downloads per song and got a total of 23 cents for the song. So I don't think 23 cents will buy a six pack like me. I'm talking about getting the band known again after the hiatus. I don't stuff, see which that. The internet. I mean, but there's, it, did, it, did, it, it makes it easier. We for didn't get any press. It makes we it certainly it. weren't on TV. The only thing yeah. that did it was the no, internet. I'm not. I'm not saying that we should not do that. I mean, that's one way of doing business or, or, or marketing, but it's not the only. Way. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just one of the new many ways. And there's going to be a lot more ways after that. How the bands are going to get paid to even survive on what they do is really becoming a problem for everyone. And I don't know, I don't know what they're making at this point. I'm seeing that. I mean, every band wants to uh, use a network. And they, and they can't, no, like the powwows can't survive. We, we have a hard time surviving. The record stores are okay in America right now, and I, I don't understand what happened there. Hipsters love it. The, uh, I'm happy we did about this, um, that. We did Record Store Day in Atlanta, and it was packed. There were lines yeah. around the block. Um, by, by hipsters all think viral uh, sounds better than CDs. The Record, than CD. the record Store Day did put a little spike in the business for a while, and it created the youth interest. But America's always the, the marketing, you know, like yeah. first in marketing or recreating itself. Um, mm -hmm. Europe kept it alive many, many years when America was running away from it the last 20 years. And vinyl was like a plague. Okay, trust me. Okay, it's clear, and now it's like um, Europe was into vinyl until the last year or two. I noticed everybody's like, you know what, I don't have any money. I'd rather just download it for free. I don't need the records anymore. I don't need a house full of clutter. And by that wayside in America, all of a sudden it's like, hey, you know, analog. So what's going to happen is it'll end up 
going back to Europe in a few mm -hmm. years. You'll see. Yeah. We'll have this Can conversation you? three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, Mark. Let's talk. Let's talk. Part two. two. I, and I know I've, I've been through every cycle like four or five times. I've seen it. It's was, a little different each time. I guess I'm going to be the iconoclast here because I have no room for any more records. Yeah, in my house. I and I just love know. the idea of having thousands and thousands of songs on this little thing that I can listen to anytime I want, and I can constantly hear new music and constantly hear new things. It would I, it's so it doesn't take any time. But if it took, it's I would never have here. time listen to listen to all that new Thanks. stuff if I had to take the record out, put it on, turn it over. Do, right. I just wouldn't have the time. I'm too lazy. But, but, but. It doesn't sound any different to me. Because well, I'm he's, he's dead. Deaf. He's dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> and when you listen to the music in that range of little earplugs, you're going to. Sounds get great. <laughs> it's, worse than, it's worse than hearing us live. It's uh, uh, so very off your ears. It sounds like punk rock. Maybe I should go that route and just sell all my records, but I was like, I can't do that. No, you don't want to do that, but it's nice to have it. No, so it's you can take a me. walk down the street and listen to anything. I still uh, make a sense. a million sets. songs in the world, you can walk down the I street. I make cassettes uh, for the band, man. I make cassette sound. I just put on shuffle. The two gear, warming the sound over to the tape, it sounds much better than my part. I find if I put it on shuffle, I find things that I would never have listened to in a million years things out of my record collection that I own, that I have, if I have it on shuffle, I never would have just pulled that out and never listened choose, to it. Never but it comes up on shuffle and I'm like, holy yeah. hell, I love that. I forgot I had it. I What's can't that? believe I had that. You know, it's that kind of thing. Well, also, if you put shuffles and the cynic song comes up, it's like, who's this? <laughs> I always skip that. <laughs> That was a great, thanks for the great question. Part two. We love rock pills. Yeah, we love the city. More rock, more pills. Yeah. Uh, Thank you so much. Girl, you hurt my man. Why? You keep me bad. Bad. That what you do, man. Why? I feel so sad. You should send you a sign That girl, you're on my mind Yeah Think about what you're doing Why? You keep me bad Girl, you're on my mind Why? I feel so sad You should send you a sign